everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where today we have some leveling up to do and I was advised uh, uh, I caught up on comments and everything that doing Socrates and Eclibiades quests are always fun I don't think we've got anything selected right now so I was thinking about running down to here <laughs> And uh, having a having a chat with uh, Socrates again, I guess. So off we go. We're just gonna. Oh wait, there was a. Oh, it's okay. I was, I was gonna look at the picture on the map, but wait, can I go in here? Best stay out of sight. Jeez. What is it like? Like it's just like little segments inside of the city. It's so annoying. Like, I think generally it's, like, really obvious because, like, the forts or whatever will be, like, separate and, like, walled off and kind of, like, it, it, if they're in a town, they're very noticeable. They'll have, like, a big wide open area in front of them with guards. Whereas this, it's, like, literally some storage or something with no fences around it and they have, like, two guards. And I'm supposed to know. That seems a little odd to me, odd design-wise. Like, it, it, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, it doesn't. Can I be up here? Is this an okay place for me to be? There's guards. Get out of the way. You guys, you guys annoy me. Yeah, that was ouch. Such pretty clothes. Don't attack the cuckoos or we'll all die. I think the only dog that they have here is a mastiff, also. Just a bunch of mastiffs. But I'm almost level 20. Which is good. Look at this doggy friends! Ah, doggy friends. Is he walking around? What section? So we're near the temple and we're in the port. What are you doing down here? Staring at horses. That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Socrates the horse thief. I can almost hear the stories they'll tell. First, the fannies will love it. <laughs> Unfortunately, those stories would be entirely fabricated. <laughs> Although, I would like to see if you believe the story should still be told once you know the truth. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know oh. what you think is right. Oh my gosh. He's just been standing here. Debating the moral ethics of like turning in a horse thief. Oh my gosh, it doesn't surprise me. Seeing Socrates in like random places actually doesn't surprise me because I could just see him like standing there debating with himself. Like, right, I have my hand on my forehead right now. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Socrates. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stables southwest. Wait, what do you mean? What? You So he if knows? you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. Well, I feel like everything Socrates tells me is a trap. Hana high horse. <laughs> everything Socrates tells me is a trap. So the guy knows he's been caught. He knows that Socrates knows. <sighs> um, interesting. So whether, so technically you're like, yeah, stealing a horse could be justified. I can justify it by saying I needed a horse or my family was gonna die if I, oh, this guy dropped all of his fruits. No, it's the cabbage man from Avatar. Um, but yeah, 
mean, like, theoretically, you could justify it any way you wanted to, but is it actually, according to, like, high laws and morals and ethics, can you justify stealing? Once more with the computer troubles. If I have to restart my computer every time I want to do something with the Elgato, I'm gonna have a cow. Gonna have an actual cow. Oh my gosh, can I not get in there? Why can't I go into the... Why can't I go into the horse shop? Or the workshop? Horse shop, the horse thieves over there. Why are you sending me into a place that's aggressive to me? Why is it aggressive to me? Why is it random things? Sometimes it's random things. Sure, war supplies, I can see. But that's a freaking workshop. Oh, they're putting in... It's like wartime stuff. I don't care, it's a workshop. Other civilians are... If civilians can walk through, I feel like I should be able to walk through. You know what I mean? I don't want to kill anybody. That's the thief. You want to escape. Oh my god. Whoop. Yes, no, please leave the workshop. Why are you running? Why are you running? Am I supposed to attack him? Although I feel like I should get out of whatever range of these guys who are chasing me, you know? Am I just supposed to chase you to a certain point, or what? Oh, okay. That was weird. I, I mean, at least they got us out of that workshop, but still. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystios judge me. Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Won't he, like, recognize the horse, or maybe not, like the other guy? Any reason you picked this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. Debatable, but, you know. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Well, so why was that guy even there? Why did I have to chase him? That was weird. Why? Why? Like, just don't put him in an area that'll be aggressive towards me. You know, put him by the stables, which I think was where he was supposed to be. He was supposed to be by those stables in the first place. Not sure why he was in an area like that to start. Socrates, I feel like it's a trick. Of course I want to side with the man whose family is going to be hungry, but he could be lying to me also. Is it ethical for him to steal? A horse from somebody? No, it isn't. Uh, and it, if we just like allow people to steal horses whenever their horses die, that that would collapse the economy. For the greater good, it's not okay that he stole a horse. But 
this one indiv if we look at it as an individual thing, one person stealing a horse isn't really a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Have you decided what should be done? Uh, frick, man. I need more time to decide. Why do I have to decide? I feel like he should technically return the horse. You know what I mean? Let's do a, a save. Not that it's a big deal. It's just a side quest, but... Oops. I keep deleting them on accident, which is fine. But it's basically the same thing as overriding, but... Oh. My... The golden rule or whatever that's been embedded into me since childhood, you know, that stealing is wrong. Not, not necessarily the golden rule, but like, you know, the, the basic rules are taught as a child that stealing is wrong and all this stuff like it's actually like like a part of me wants to be like nah man that guy should have that horse but there's like a deeper part of me that's like since childhood that's like no that's wrong so maybe answering yeah he should keep the horse would actually be a twist on the expected oh god i don't know have you decided what should be done it's actually a really difficult decision. Why is it so difficult? I, uh, I want to say he should keep the horse, but he I know that he should probably give it back, you know? Like this... <sighs> Whatever, man. Just keep it. He needs I don't the care. horse more than the man he stole it from. Let him keep it. It'll do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although Shut up. I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. I know! The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. No. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? Well, again, I think, again, it depends on the action. On the, like, like, it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, during wartime you're a hero, but post-war you're a monster, you know? Uh... I think it kind of depends on the intent. But that is dangerous thinking because that's why, like, a lot of times justice systems are harsh and unwieldy is because they don't take individual circumstances into account. There's just a bunch of blanket rules that are applied to every situation, you know? In a truly just society, each individual action and motivation would be taken into account. And like the punishment made it out made it out accordingly, you know, according to each individual. Not just blanket punishments. Anyway, it's too early for this, Socrates. If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So in times like these, people like us get to determine the Lord. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Uh -huh. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Poor Cassandra. I'm level 20 and I just got an Athenian breastplate level 19, which is a bummer. Cause 
so I just leveled up to 20. Actually, it's not bad. Oh, it's disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> oh, wow. 7% warrior damage and 12% total armor. I think I might have a level 20 armor, like breastplate, in my, on my ship. Uh, what are these? Assassin and crit wound for health. Adrenaline on hit. I mean, it's a little bit better armor, but I think I actually like the benefits on this. I like the adrenaline, and I like the 8% assassin damage, and the 20% crit damage while full health. It's quite nice. Oh jeez. It's even like, yeah, it's not even good at all. Damage with spears, but these are... Yeah, oh, these are damage with spears and the hunter and elemental resistance. See, yeah, the, 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 the venom, I'm, I'm kind of moving away from venom to... I prefer fire. Oh, I'm level 20. No, I'm not. Is I? No? Am I level 20? I am level 20. Yeah, okay, no, no, I knew that, yeah. Wow. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. I guess that this is, this is not what I'm leading up to, even though it's at the end here. It's what I am. Okay, I don't know if I was, like, reading that right or wrong <laughs> at any given point in time. I might have been... Eight percent damage on Athena. <laughs> See, overall this one's better damage-wise, but if this increases the damage done with daggers, whereas this is a damage done on Athenian soldiers, which is dumb. I'll keep it. I think I had a better. Yeah. Ooh, fire and warrior damage. Nice. This is a nice bow. Oh yeah, but this one has the better abilities attached to it. What? Do I, I just get artifact fragments when I level up? Is that a thing? Okay. I don't even use the bow very often. Oh, I can only tame a wolf? Alright, so I'm tempted between this one and this one. I feel like the chain attacks are not always a good idea, though. Because they're not... Sometimes they're not bunched up like in groups of two they're either in way more or or they uh are way less you know mm. and being stealthier is always nice at least you know helping me be stealthier Let's just go with this one for now. I can always rewrite my points. Ooh, my spear is gonna have to be upgraded at some point. I would like to get this one sometime, but maybe not right now. Now I'm only two levels too low for that uh, for my main quest. Let's see. All right, Cleon, we'll help you, boy. Even though I'm suspicious of you. He's in Attica, which is where we are. The mountain of Pent Scar, mountains of Pentaclastes. 
whatever. Ah, yeah, the quarry. Easy. I guess we'll... Fast travel there and then take our unicorn. Out for a ride. The messenger. He's being held in that prison camp. All right. We found the quarry. Maybe this is another one of those quarries that I needed for... Whatever clue I need, you know? For the guards. Or for the cult. The cult. Okay, this is under Spartan control. Oh, look, all the workers going in. Alright, alright. Oh boy, fine and free. Okay. Yeah. They keep a sharp watch here. Sneaking in with the, uh, the everyday worker. Okay. Now I'm finding the guards. Oh. Why are they fighting each other? Oh, those are Athenian soldiers. Fighting the Spartans. Okay. For what purpose? Ah, okay, there's the civilian okay, case probably in there. Jeez, what? Just random treasures in the area. Okay. Let's see if I can get that guy closer. Come closer, my darling. These bare chested Spartans. Huh? It's a beautiful What's thing. Noise? What? Oh. Nope, you don't see anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, wow. Just hide in the bushes. <laughs> Perfect. He's in the bushes. Is that good enough? I don't know if this is good enough. Okay. Mount Pentelikos holds the purest marble in the Greek world. I heard. They built the Parthenon. I love how she just whoop hello. Has these little tidbits for me. I actually do think it's pretty great. Ooh, a tablet. A fast travel point. I should be able to get this guy. Oh, jeez! Go, 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 go! The kills in this game are brutal. Brutal. I mean, I don't know, I feel- I mean, I could try to assassinate people from a distance, but then I can't control, like, where their bodies end up, you know? Who's doing that? And, like, people could stumble upon them. Huh? Are you serious? It was because I was standing too close to the other bodies, so the triangle was being turned into the carry. What in what possible world would I want to carry a dead body when I'm trying to assassinate? Oh my gosh! The freaking civilians will try to attack me? Why? Yeah, you 
better run. In what world does a civilian try to attack a mercenary? If they're not gonna like light up civilians as a potential like target for me that I need to kill, then they shouldn't attack me. Like it shouldn't be, they shouldn't be a threat. Oh wait, there was a... Oh, hey. Wow. Ooh, 41. Ooh. Yeah, oh no, come, no, I need arrows. Where did that stupid treasure go? Oh, that's a, no, it's a different one. I'll get to that one later. I thought there was one close to me here. Okay. Wow, why? This is a level like 19 quest and I'm getting level 21 things. That's not what I want. Yeah, you keep running, guy. Coward. Coward. Prisoners. I don't. Oh, is he? Is he actually over there? Christos. I heard them say Christos. a whole underground area to this quarry as well. Alright, well, I'll go... Oh my gosh! He's been hung from the rooftops. Okay. Wow. Why, why in the quarry? Looks like I was too late for getting us. Huh. Seems Cleon's messenger wasn't the only one captured. Maybe I can help them too. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Help me, I will. Save me. Please get me out of here. Thank you, Mr. Thank, Thank you. My legs. Thank you. Why I'll have to carry me. Well, I think I made the way clear for the most part um, to get out. Even though those guys should technically be able to see me freeing captives, but we're not gonna we're not gonna ask too many questions. I got level 19 boots though. Are we far enough out of the quarry yet? Is that dog guarding? I feel like that dog might be guarding whatever's in there. Thank you. I need to get to my ship. I'll reward you well. Who are you? Yeah. Tell me who you are. Captain Onomaklis. I'm on an urgent mission. I need to get out of here. Uh... The same mission as the other guy, or are you are you a the? I assume he's Athenian. You have a ship. Yes, I came inland to meet an associate. You might have seen him. He enjoyed Spartan hospitality at the end of a rope. Yerimos, I was sent to rescue him. We can still complete the mission if you help me. Because it was the mission that was of paramount importance, according to Cleon. Spartan patrols could find us at any moment. Agreed. We need to get to my ship. I'll get you to your ship. Just point me in the right direction. It's on the coast. Just south of Marathon Beach. What's so important Doggy! about this ship? It's not the ship, but it's cargo. It must reach its destination. Then what's the cargo? <laughs> I'm not ungrateful for your help. But it's better you don't know. Why is that? Just believe me. What we do is for the security and future of Athens. This mission must succeed. My payment relies on it, so trust me, it will. I like how the dog just like appeared behind me. 
like when the cutscene was over, it was like, hello. I'm like, oh, did you kill all the bandits in here, puppy? Good for you. Hmm. I'm actually not sure how long this episode has been because things have gotten a little bit wonky with the computer for some reason, but, uh, no. Those level 20 bracers are boring. Let's see. Get rid of those, and we'll get rid of those. Because I'll just, I could just use one of these, and it'd be fine. If I really wanted to. Messenger boots, hunter damage. Nope, I don't like those. New bow. Can't use it. New boring spear. Delete it. Well, looks like, uh, for now, we're doing the Liberator. I bet you they have, like, I don't know, for an Athenian thing, I always assume, well, not for, for an Athenian thing, you would hope it wouldn't be something like slaves, but when it's like, the cargo is important, I'm like, it's slaves. Or maybe kidnapped people. Hostages. Anyway, I think I'll have to leave it here, because I don't know how long this has been because the computer keeps messing up but thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it the music was really dramatic when we left off so when we get back we'll drag this guy back to his ship so thank you all again for watching and i'll see you in the next one